Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Lazy Days Media Reacts. My name is Ryan. I'm Stacy. <laughs> and we are back again for another reaction. We're just freaking Run and roll. putting these out like there ain't no tomorrow. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching the reactions we put out uh, so far. So we're still continuing. It's still October. So we're still going with the horror movie theme. And today we're going to be watching something that I haven't seen, surprisingly, as it is another John Carpenter film. And I know she has not seen it. Um, we're going to be watching Prince of Darkness, which I'm Prince of very Darkness. excited for. Uh, yeah, if you guys like the videos, if you guys like this video, just uh, hit that like button, subscribe, comment below, please. We love the interactions. I try to respond to as many comments as I can. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's just jump right into this. Prince of Darkness. Let's do it. So, yes, we are going to be snacking. Look at this. Popcorn on deck. You guys didn't seem Always. to complain last time, so we're still going to do it no matter what, but. For the people who like ASMR, this is for you. I doubt any of those people are watching <laughs> this video. John Carpenter, same guy who did, um. Uh, Halloween, the fog. We're on a roll with him. Wow. I want a stash like that. No. I found Father Carlton this morning. He was taken to the hospital, but he never regained consciousness. Why was he here? He had an appointment with his eminence this afternoon. Is that Dr. Loomis? <laughs> Donald Pleasance. He looks like he's had a day. I feel like I already relate to his character. <laughs> oh, no. Mm -mm. The classic John Carpenter text. He uses practically the same text in most of his movies. Of course he does the music for all his movies too. Most of them. I think all of them. Nature is solid and time a constant. Matter has substance and time a direction. There is truth in flesh and the solid ground. The wind may be visible, but it's real. Smoke, fire, hey. water, Picture of little China. Not as to stone or steel, but they're tangible. And we assume time has narrowed because it is as a clock. One second is one second for everyone. None of this is true. Say goodbye to classical reality because our logic collapses on the subatomic level into ghosts and shadows. I thought that was someone sitting right there. I love the way John Carpenter sets up a tone. I love the way he does it. Is he one of your favorite directors? No. Yeah. He's got a lot of duds. But the ones that are good are good. He just fell in love. Aww. To the scientists of the 1930s proving to their horror the theorem that not everything can be proved We've sought to impose order on the universe, but we've discovered something very surprising. While order does exist in the universe, it is not at all what we had in mind. John Carpenter and his window shots. I was just gonna say, like, that <laughs> happened in Halloween, right? Was it Halloween? Yeah. He died before his appointment with the Cardinal, but he left a diary. He was the 
guardian priest. Apparently he lived here for over 30 years. Once a week he would venture out for food. And every day he opened this door. Built in the 1500s by a ranger for the Spanish government. Who knew about this? Only the members of this forgotten sect, the Brotherhood of Sleep. There was a vow of silence. Even their very existence was kept from the Holy See. The Vatican didn't know. The Gallian priests would keep the secret. And before he died, he would pass it on to another. The sect had enormous power and authority. How is that? It's a lava lamp. <laughs> Latin. Some it's in Latin. Some in Coptic. Greek. Numbers. It's not easy to decipher. The original text has been distorted over the years. What is it? A secret that can no longer be kept. Father, come on. It's running your I know, I know. So what's the point? The point is, until the cat is observed by someone, he's not in any definite state, either alive or dead. He's in a wave superposition state, both dead and alive at the same time. Huh? I love their outfits. Okay, only when we open the box and observe the cat does he materialize into reality, either dead or alive. But it doesn't make sense. That is the entire complete point. It doesn't make any common sense. Our common sense breaks down. That's why I love philosophy. So ridiculous, but so just fascinating. We heard the right ones to cast our plans for the weekend. What? That's not all. A couple of biochemistry spiders are coming to visit us. And someone to translate Latin. Come coming with us where? We're going to have the post for stranger. This is just not going to happen. I have serious plans for the weekend. Four o'clock, we'll have the New York Times. Oh, I've got a bunch of people speaking Latin. Sleep with him. You're an A. Just when I think I've got it and visualized it, it just all goes away. I start seeing old-fashioned classical reality again. I want the clockwork back. I want to put it all into a little box, but whenever I try, it just um, slithers out. I have volunteer our services to the archdiocese. Now, each of you is a competent physicist, even though you don't have a degree to prove it. And participating in this examination will greatly improve your classroom averages, I might add. <laughs> There are other departments joining us. Excuse me, sir. Is there some reason why you're not telling us what we're going to be doing? In time. Whoa. It's your disbelief. Okay, what do the red ants mean? Your stubborn faith in... in Common sense. We must translate this book. You must prove it scientifically. Actually, I was hoping you'd have a cup of coffee with me again. How did I know? Good morning. <laughs> Thank you. Can I tell you something? Please don't tell me. Tell me next time. Or the time after that, or two years from now. Oh no. Oh, I don't know why I thought they were all like morphing into zombies or something. They look like zombies. Yeah, I know. It's LA. I mean, like. Yeah, but they were all there in a group. It looked like a zombie mob. Good. All right, I'm Paul Lee. Oh, Dr. Lee. I'm glad you could come. Yes. 
Well, now, all I really know about what's going on here is that one of your students told oh, yeah. me we had a telephone. We're just getting organized. I have some equipment find the spot over there. Right. So we're bringing this to Central Lab. Oh, sure. Well, what are we actually doing here? Hello. Frankie. Who's that? Susan Cabot, radiologist. Married. Ah, how married? Hi, Doc. We work upstairs. I want to set up the basic panel down here. Right. Uh, what are you supposed to be testing? I don't know. I really can't believe this is happening. I had a date tonight with this beautiful young trial attorney from Century City. Where were you taking it? Please, it isn't funny. Watching us. They started coming around when I got here at 9 o'clock this morning. So wonderful what you're doing for her. Opening the church again. Uh. No. Ugh. Ugh. Ew, that actually had me gag a little bit. That was weird, her voice. Yeah, it was like distorting, huh? About to find out what you guys all want to know about. It's gaining strength. I can feel it all around us now. What the freak is going on? What's going on? <laughs> Something downstairs. Uh, what? I hate to tell you guys, this is real bullshit. It's like oozing out of there? No. Or growing bacteria or something? Is this some kind of toxic crap? Could be. Okay. I still don't understand why we're not taking direct samples. I mean, what's the big mystery? Catherine's entering these equations upstairs. They're translated from Latin. Differential equations? A book written 2,000 years ago. We hadn't invented differential right. equations. You don't want to take a sample now, do you? <laughs> At that point, I'm like, okay. <laughs> We gotta stop whatever we're doing. These are just earthworms, aren't they? Um. It's supposed to be s Satan. Looks like it can only be open from the inside. <laughs> It'll come out when it's ready. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you want to open that? I don't want to open it. Stereotype routines that they repeat every 20 minutes or so. You know, like a stuck record in their brains repeating the same phrase over and over. Well, I have been watching them on and off all day, and they don't seem to be making any movements. They just stand there. With those kinds of problems, I say let them stand there if they want to. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I bumped into something this afternoon. It's starting to hurt. Oh, you got anything for me? No, I'm afraid not. I'm guessing uh, on the acidity based on the corrosion sample. The figures you gave me. Yeah. Well, it can't be that high. Well, I know what you asked me to guess. All right, get out of here. Good night, sir. <laughs> That's freaking creepy. Bro, run. Go. Skeet, skeet. Oh, shit. Uh -oh. Dude, you're a goner right now. Oh. Fluid. It's not winding down into disorder. It's self-organizing. It's becoming something. What? I mean, animal, a disease. What? 
the hardest thing to hear for any of us is something we don't agree with. I saw a star fall from heaven under the bottomless pit, and he was cast out as water from the flood. This is crazy. Man. Hadn't you seen it yet? No, for the last four hours I've been carbonating the corrosion on the lid there. We're talking about seven million years. What? Yeah. Now, like, I'm not super religious, but if something like that was carbon dating seven million years and there was text <laughs> saying all that stuff that's being translated in multiple languages and math that didn't exist, I would start rethinking everything. Absolutely. What the hell? It's floating upwards. The father of Satan, a god who once walked the earth before man but was somehow banished to the dark side. Apparently, the father buried his son inside the container. This was a section someone was trying to erase. Now, later on here, Christ comes to warn us. He was an extraterrestrial ancestry, but a human-like race. No, don't walk towards it. <laughs> Fucking leave. I'll leave right Run. now. What the hell? Oh! Oh no! Oh yeah, she's a goner. Oh god. Finally, they determined Christ is crazy, but he's also gaining power, converting a lot of people to his beliefs, so they kill him. But his disciples keep the secret and hide it from civilization until man could develop a science sophisticated enough to prove what Christ was saying. I love Donald Pleasant so much because it's such a great delivery. I was listening to every word he said and he was talking hey, without so even like these days. Look at this. breathing. Very <laughs> burst of energy. Oh no. was triggered in the metal on that thing downstairs. A strong one. Some kind of kinetic emission came out of it. Now if it can transmit a signal strong enough, it can move other objects instantaneously across a distance. One one? Anyone ever tell you that you could pass variation? Have you seen Susan? Radiologist glasses. Oh yeah, she's right outside. Where? She was there. I think somebody ought to tell her. Look, am I crazy or are we stroking ourselves heavily here? <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to share your thoughts. He's next. Hello? Faster. <laughs> Suppose Shit. we are on the brink of the ultimate truth. Oh, this priest is a real case. He is Looney Tunes. Come on, Frank. You're out of your minds. This is a joke. This is Kaka. Kaka. This is Kaka. Some people just can't handle it. Kaka. <laughs> That's uh, what I mean. I'd go back inside. Uh. Never mind. Uh. Oh, what the? Oh, dude, get out of there! Oh shit!
That was a cool shot running up on one. Yeah. Weapon. That freaking statue in the front. I don't like this. What the fuck? They're all having the same dream? Anyone in close proximity has the same dream. <gasps> no! Kicker! Excuse me, I. Cross on there. Mona Lisa. <laughs> Lisa. Oh no. Such as like controlling them. He's just distracting him. She's the chosen one. Yeah. Damn. Uh oh, he's a goner. Got on him, right? No. Or he, that's right, because he fell over. Oh, that's so creepy. Oh, She's what the hell? She's pregnant now. What in the world is going on? A fucking demon baby. Yeah. 
Oh my god. So scared if I was him. Like, yeah. couldn't, even, couldn't even go anywhere. Just had to watch all that. It's worse being alone. But maybe he needs something more complex to complete a life cycle, a host in which to live. Oh no! Bro. Turn your flashlight off, bruh. Come on. <laughs> Fucking toss her out the window. Yeah, literally. There you go. Uh. What? Hi, took your head back in. Boom. You're all the way out now. Oh, he's Fuck like, yeah. yeah. There you go. Go, do it. Oh, shit. Oh, oh fuck. No. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Go, Dr. Loomis! <laughs> uh, uh, fast shit. the mirror, maybe? Oh, what the fuck? Sacrifice yourself. We stopped it. We stopped it here. The future conjured up by the blind serpent will not happen now. Damn 
Just finished Prince of Darkness. Uh, how did you? How did you like it? I liked it. I felt like it was a slow burner at first. I think all the crazier parts happened like towards the very, very yeah. end of it. I can't lie. I was like struggling a little bit holding on, but once we hit like the climax, I was like, okay, I'm totally in this right now. So I'm trying to understand. It was like at first I was thinking it was like an alien, demonic thing. But it just ended up being like, basically Satan. Like, it's definitely Satan, right? But like traveling through some type of portal. Uh, I through like the bacteria. From from what I gathered, it seemed like it was. It was, Satan or like other, a dark entity, the Prince of Darkness, mm -hmm. um, trying to bring itself through the portal. Towards the end, that's what it was trying yeah, to do. Yeah, that's what I was getting from that. By inhabiting the other people and, yeah. like, controlling them. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay, then, yeah, I got that part kind of down. I don't know why I was thinking. I think as soon as I just saw, like, the green, like, lava-looking thing, I was thinking, like, they were going to do the alien demon thing. I mean, technically, it was an alien. They did say when they were doing the when they were, um translating the book mm -hmm. that uh that when they were talking about jesus when they're talking about how he came down to warn them that he was an alien type being that was humanoid yeah i mean they didn't that. stay i mean that's you know ancient astronaut theory um i i loved it i thought it was great i, yeah, I really it was, it was really good i know it's obviously a little bit dated but i think that i feel like this is the type of movie where if it got a remake i wouldn't get mad I wouldn't really? be mad to see a remake of this because I feel like there's a lot you could do with this mm. now that that they did in this movie. They did just fine in this movie, but I feel like there's a lot you could do with this this type of story. I see that, yeah. It would be interesting to see a remake, I agree. I did I did really like it though. Um again, is like John Carpenter is a crazy imagination. Uh yeah, I, I really liked the philosophical element of yeah. it. Um, pretty much how they were talking about. I think it's I think it's called um, Sh Schroeder's Catch. Sh Schroeder's Cat. I forget the name <laughs> of it. But it's essentially, the philosophical theory that something is not so the the things are non-existent until you perceive them yourself. Mm -hmm. I've always said that. Like, oh, the chair behind me, tech, it's not existent unless I see it or visualize it and see that it's mm -hmm. existing, which is what they're talking about. You know, you don't see what's in the box. It's not existing until you open the box and see what's in it, mm -hmm. which, you know, there's a lot of parallels with the key in the box yeah. and then this thing inside yeah, the, that was the, the, cool. the basement. I really like all the philosophical stuff in this, but yeah, I, I very much enjoyed it. So I'm really looking forward to, because apparently... He has a series of movies that he did. I think it's like something like the Apocalypse series. That's mm. what people call it. And it's it's that one. Um, oh, man. What's the other one? I think it's that one, The Thing. And there's another one called In the Mouth of Madness, which I oh, do okay. want to watch. Um, the so those three would be the apocalypse series. Yeah, that's what they call them because it's like the thing. You remember the thing? How? Yeah, I remember. That's like it's it's very similar to the sense where something is discovered and you know, ends up causing humanity's downfall, or in that in that movie at least. But I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. Um, let us know if you what you guys thought about it. Uh, when you guys first saw it, if you guys would want to see a remake of this. Yeah. Um, I know most people don't like remakes, but I really do feel like this has a lot of substance to it that could um, be remade nowadays. Yeah, I, be done I would agree. Well, yeah. In the right hands, at least. Maybe James Wan. If James Wan could get this and do a remake of it, that would be great. He did some Insidious movies, yeah, He right? did that, yeah. I think he did the first two. Mm. Um, 
But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, if you like this video, if you like the movie even, you know, you like the video too. Give it that good old thumbs give up. Give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Comment below again what you guys think about the movie, what you take away from the movie. It's a lot I could talk about, especially on like the religious aspect as well of it. Um, but yeah, let's have that discussion. Put it down in the comments. Let's talk about it. Uh, but thank you guys again, and we'll see you next time when we watch the next movie. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys.